Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about Direct Lake Connection Mode in Power BI, what it is, how it works with Microsoft Fabric objects, how it is different with other connection modes in Power BI. Uh, let's check it all out in this video. So with the announcement of uh, Microsoft Fabric, Power BI also had some new features and enhancement to work with Fabric objects. And one of those is uh, Direct Lake. Before we talk about Direct Lake, let's very shortly go through what is Microsoft Fabric. I have a separate video about it, which you can go and watch it. But in general, in overall quick overview, Fabric is an end-to-end -end software as a service solution provided by Microsoft which includes uh, multiple workloads for data engineering, data warehousing, uh, business intelligence. Combination of these would give you uh, everything you need for, a, for an end-to-end data analytics solution, basically. Uh, as I mentioned, you can go and watch my video about that separately. Um, now, also another thing to talk about before talking about direct lake mode is that what type of connections we already have in Power BI. In Power BI, we have few types of connections available. We have import data, uh, or it is also, also called as scheduled refresh. Uh, we have direct query. Uh, we have live connection, sometimes direct query and live connection mistakenly confused together and people use this versus the other one and then we have composite mode which which we combine some of these connections together and lastly we have direct link which is the topic of this video uh, and i have a i have videos about each of these and even comparing these types of connections as well which i encourage you to go and check it out and uh, now let's jump into two of these because it is important to understand those so that you can understand how direct lake works Import data is a type of connection that is the fastest type of connection in Power BI. When we use Power BI, um, like in, a, in its default way, we use we usually using import mode. It works based on a um, Vertipack analysis services engine, which is where the Power BI data set data gets housed. And that works based on proprietary data types uh, that that Vertipick engine supports. So what happens is that Power BI imports data from that source into this uh, proprietary file format and then reads it from there. So the data is essentially copied. It would be compressed, of, uh, of course, uh, but that copy of data is the source of all the queries in Power BI. When you do the visualization, visualization queries data from that file structure inside Vertipack engine of Power BI data set. And the result is super fast because it is uh, designed to query the data in a, in a fast way. But it also comes with the need that data needs to be refreshed because if it doesn't get refreshed, you wouldn't have the new copy of the data, the, the up-to-date data wouldn't come. This is import data, which is perfect when the data volume is not huge or you don't want the live data. On the other hand side, we have direct query. If the volume of data is huge, trillions of rows of data and things like that, then creating a copy might not be necessary, might not be um, essentially possible. You might not have enough space. So what happens in those cases is that we keep the copy of, we keep the data in the source. So we don't really create a copy. In the um, analytics, uh, ser analysis services Vertipack engine, there would be a still uh, a structure that whenever we query, uh, whenever we see a visualization, it translates that visual query to a language that the data source understands. In this case, it would be like SQL command, for example, if it is reading from um, SQL Server database or something like that. The query sends to the database, the result comes back, and then it showed in the visualization. This process is a slow for every visual, something like this is a slow. Um, the good side of it is that this type of connection doesn't need refreshing the data because the data is live. The bad side of it is that it is slow. Uh, so now what is direct lake? Direct lake is kind of a combination of these two in a different way. So when we have import data, which we create a copy of that data in the Vertipack um, analysis services proprietary format, uh, Instead of doing that, what happens is that Microsoft team did some enhancement on the Parquet files that are um, stored in one lake. When you create a lake house, for example, your 
files are stored in Parquet format. They enhance those Parquet files, so in a way, the VertiPack analy analysis services engine is actually using those Parquet files instead of its own proprietary files. So those Parquet files are enhanced for querying um, from VertiPack. So basically, it's like import, but without importing anything. So you would have the performance of import, you would be able to query the data very fast, you get the result, and on the other hand side, the data is not getting copied anywhere. So basically, it's like VertiPack inside one lake for, for the best result. So you wouldn't need to copy the data, you wouldn't need to uh, schedule it to refresh, all of those would be really um, uh, simplified possible for you. So Direct Lake basically has uh, benefits from both of these types of connections. It is fast and on the other hand side it is also up to date. You don't need to refresh it. Uh, now how does this work? So uh, at the moment at the time of creating this video you would need a lake house to create that. So this type of uh, connection works with a lake house. So once you create a lake house, which I explained that in another video, uh, once you create a lake house, then you can uh, connect to that using the default Power BI dataset that comes with it or create your own dataset. Now I'm going to show you the dataset part of it, but not the lake house. The lake house itself is a object in Microsoft Fabric where you can go and store structured data and unstructured data. So here, for example, you see that I have um, created a lake house. I'll enable my zooming so that this uh, works better, you can see it. Uh, so I have created the lake house. When, with the lake house, you have these three objects, the lake house itself, the SQL endpoint of the lake house, where you can connect to it and write some queries. and there is always a dataset, Power BI dataset default created for that. Now you can see this dataset or the model for that when you create, on, when you click on the SQL endpoint. Uh, in the SQL endpoint, the model tab shows you what the dataset looks like, which I'm going to bring it in a second. And that dataset would have some tables with header. Um, header colors that shows header stripes, blue stripes that shows that it is a direct lake connection. You can of course create your own data set, um, but the default data set would have the direct lake itself. So if I go to the model tab here, um, not only I can design whatever data model I want, but also I can uh, see that these tables, as you see when I hover under, under um, under tables, this stripe, blue stripe at the top, when I hover on it, you see that it is a direct lake mode. So basically this is a Power BI dataset with a direct lake mode. I don't need to create it. It comes with the, uh, with the lake house when you create it. But if you want to create your own um, dataset, you can always do that from here. In the reporting tab, you can say create a new Power BI dataset. It has to be created using the web experience. You cannot create it using Power BI desktop. Not at this time of creating this video. Later on, you might be able to do that. Uh, remember that this is preview, so some of the features might be still um, pending to create. So if I go ahead and create a data set, let's say I create a couple of, uh, I select a couple of these tables and say create data set. Um, now this new data set would also have direct lake connection because these tables are coming from the um, lake house and they are basically stored in one lake. So this would automatically create the direct lake connection. Um, so then any report you create on top of these data sets, they would be reports that you can um, query and see how the performance of this is. I would encourage you to go and check the performance of this. You would see something really similar to, uh, to import data performance, of course. So this is where I can design my, my new data set and call it anything, um, I would call it new data set 2 or something like that. Now, uh, the data set itself, um, is automatically connected to the lake house data. So this data set that you see, uh, the default one is automatically connected to the lake house data. Anytime the lake house data gets updated, that updated data is available for querying from Power BI, which is the default behavior. But if you create your own data sets like these that I've created, then you can uh, change this behavior. You can say, well, I want the data to be 
available or exposed to query as soon as um, the data gets updated in the lake house. Um, but you may not want that. You may say, well, I have an ETL process that takes some time, an hour or two. Uh, during that time, the data is not full yet. So querying the data would result some incorrect or misleading uh, reporting. In those cases, when you go to the uh, setting of a um, data set that you've created custom data set under a refresh, you would see an option like this that says, keep your direct lake data up to date. So this refresh isn't really similar to the refresh we have in import data. It doesn't mean that uh, when you turn it uh, on, it refreshes the data. And when you turn it off, you have to call a refresh, but that refresh doesn't really do a refresh. It would mainly expose that data to be queried from Power BI. Remember that it's kind of different from the way that import data works. Import data imports that into uh, its own file format of uh, VertiPack engine versus in this case, the Parquet file are going to be the, fo the format for um, for the Power BI VertiPack engine. So that it's not really that refresh, it is more like exposing that data to be queried. Um, so this is basically the direct lake connection, uh, similar to other um, features that comes first, they have some limitations at the moment. For example, one of the limitations of this is that you have to create it in the web experience. You cannot create it in the, um, in the desktop. Another limitation is that you cannot create calculated columns. And the size of data also has some limitations for just this preview at the moment. Of course, this when this becomes general available, some of these limitations would be lifted, but it is, it is a great type of connection. It's basically import data, I would say a better version of import data as a connection. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you uh, like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Fabric. Until the next video, bye.